Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra. This is the weekly watch list. I love to watch and today we are reacting to X-Men 97 episode 7, Bright Eyes. Let's get to it. channel so we are back on our x-men 97 trip um episode seven yeah episode seven entitled bright eyes it looks like well it looks like my baby uh, rogue is going rogue <laughs> that's what it looks like i'm actually really excited about this like i said i haven't got a lot of memories about the original series but i have been doing my research <laughs> Um, so I just know a little bit more now about the gang and what they were up to. I learned a little bit more about that whole thing with the Dark Phoenix saga and a little bit more about the Shi'ar and how Xavier met Lalandra and, um, you know, them falling in love and all that stuff and them fighting in that big battle, like the blue part of the moon or whatever. Got all of that. I learned a little bit more about Sentinels. I didn't realize that Master Mole, I was just thinking that Master Mole was just like, an empty vessel with like some AI you know I didn't realize that it's like sentient and actually has an agenda I don't know much more than that but I am gradually sort of you know just getting up to speed on what I missed what I can't remember anymore um, about X-Men so I'm really excited to keep going with this series. It's been so excellent so far. The last episode was really fun. I'm so happy that Storm has her powers back and I can't wait for her to get back to the gang so they can figure out what the heck they're gonna do about what happened in Genosha. Um, and I guess what the heck is going on with Rogue Girl? What you doing, girl? Guys, I am at over 5,000 subscribers now! And that's all thanks to you. Um, I know that when I posted my Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live reactions, and I know that when I started watching X-Men, you guys have just been so supportive and I really, really, really appreciate it. I haven't been back on my channel in a couple of years. I'm pulling the Cory Kenshin. Although, to be honest, I think I've been gone longer than Cory. Where are you at, Cory? Cory, Cory. Where's Cory Kenshin? Does anybody know where Cory Kenshin is? Please, man. The internet needs you. Anyway, um... I took a long break and I came back and the support has just been really overwhelming. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you like what you see, please like the video and consider subscribing because I'm going to be watching a whole bunch of really awesome stuff. Um, I'm so excited. I'm actually getting back into Marvel. <laughs> All right, let's get to the uh, episode. This one's called Bright Eyes. Oh God, no, Bright Eyes, no. Oh. God, who's even left? Rémi Le Beau would be the first to remind you that life, like the cards, is wild. <laughs> Yet he moved through his life as a force who believed that luck always won. Yet he seemed so blind to his... Haunted oh. by the life of Bayou crime into which he was born. I don't know who this blonde dude Such is, so don't expect me to, to know, because I don't. I think he was bluffing. Said I'm learning things. How could Remy, little by little, tune to potential, fail to see how his sins had made him into a hero? Oh. I noticed Rogue is missing. Every gambler has a tell. Modesty. Us gambits. Hmm. How could she not be here? He saved all of us. He loved her. Oh no. Damn, why y'all trying to make me cry? Rogue's gotta figure it out on her own. You were spared witnessing that which Rogue and I saw in Genosha. But yeah. she battles is not mere grief. And our dear Jubilee. Is wise 
to be afraid. Oh shit, yeah. She's uh Oh shit. Girl, who are you attacking? Do you even know like This is a top secret United States facility. You are trespassing. Cease and Ooh, she's not there to talk. Who did she take powers from that she's so strong? Oh! Oh, was that a wrestling move? This girl just do a wrestling move. Bro, girl, Ooh, I'm scared. Need I remind you that we're standing in the same place built to hold the Hulk? Okay, fair enough. Okay. No she ain't no what now, huh? What? Yeah. That's what I thought. Where are Harry Garrick and Bolivar Trash? Ah. We're the good guys. You killed those, sugar. Now, you get me. Finding even one more survivor could give mutants some hope. Look, folks are frightened. They think Dr. Trask just kicked I wonder if they're gonna find Emma Frost, like in the comics. And if scared voters see me helping your kind... See, I'm learning. Uh, unfortunate optics. Optics. Oh, God, this echoes real life right now. Focused on so much, you know. Now hold up. I'm playing politics here to ensure someone less kind to your cause doesn't end up in the office you're so quick to disrespect. Be patient, Scott. Check the headlines, Mr. President. They're all about the virtue of patience. <laughs> Scott does not want to hear that shit. He, he's he's kind of gangster. Right now, we have to be strong for the team. I'm like on the verge of tears this whole time. There who's watching these images, they need hope. Or at least they're holding it together. I would be a friggin' miss. A survivor is the last thing I'd want to be. Dr. McCoy. Well, some of them are Hank. together. I'm so sorry. Ooh, they stand kind of close. That it is you who will bear witness to what happened in Genosha. I love that even though this show is like, you know, Nostalgia City and oh, see, 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 see. I'm a shipper. I like to ship. Mountain Nicole Seeker. Oh shit! Please. Genosha oh, he said, wasn't please. just a mutant tragedy. It shames us all. But rampaging across the country dishonors those who were lost. Skip the hogwash and tell me what Ooh. America's top cop is doing all the way out here. <laughs> Not top cop! I'm hoping to use Gyrick to get our hands on Bolivar Trask. He built the sentinels. Last week, Gyrick was transferred out of U.S. custody by some covert division in the U.N. Looks like they skipped town before This sounds like a combination of like MCU Captain America and perhaps old school cartoon Captain America. Once I get the thumbs up, I'll lead my team to Mexico to apprehend Gyrick. I reckon we nab Gyrick now before our mystery boys move him again. Gotta do this by the book, Rogue. Right now, my hands are tied. Well, if your hands are tied, you won't be needing this. Come on, why you gotta take do shield, rogue? <laughs> I don't know, you can run that. A couple of hours. Minor setback. Be fine. Don't look at me like that. What if you were here? The call she gets, not getting what the cops are saying, something about an attack. Stop pressuring me, Jude. You should tell the, the truth, dude. Don't hide. Is it worth it, Jubilee? I just know I wouldn't want my parents finding out who I was yes. on the five o'clock. Yes, meeting. it is. Don't want them burying a stranger. Will you come with me? Duh. This is all so well done. I'm really emotional. It's making me really emotional. Well, tall order when mutants everywhere are taken to the streets. Perhaps the professor's vision for the future was too nearsighted, and begging for your tolerance was our first mistake. Hank, no, that's not what I was saying. But it is what you mean. As was your reporting outside my home while my friends were dying. This ain't no jail. This is a damn resort. Yeah, of course it is, babe. Because he's not really in custody. He's probably under protection. 
What's OZT, anyway? You freaks aren't the only ones making friends in high places. Honey, this ain't that sort of pro. <laughs> oh shit, she took a glove off! Woo! <laughs> oh, you're gonna kill him! You're killing him, girl! <laughs> what did she just absorb? Psychic echoes. So many last thoughts. Unfulfilled dreams. Cycling oh, on repeat. God. Oh Stuck. God. Rotting. So many futures lost. Oh, this shit is heavy. So many pasts unfinished. I'm sorry, Jean. For how complicated things got between us. Our lives have never been simple. It feels <sighs> different this time. Like, I know I'm watching an animated show, but friends. this is... Or when I sacrificed myself to the sun or Dark Phoenix. Somebody said that this is an animated no, soap opera, and I... I agree. <sighs> Someone. Girl, what is it now? A telepath. Madeline. <gasps> or Emma Frost, like in the comics. Is she gonna try to get revenge like Ro? Yeah. Oh. Extraordinary. Diamond transmutation has never been one of Emma's abilities. Perhaps a dormant mutation triggered by duress? Oh, she gained a new power in the comics. That's what that is, okay. Under pressure. So she turned into a diamond when she was crushed by the building. Well, oh, he thought it was gonna be Madeline. Oh no! Oh, Scott. It's Trask. I didn't know what These he was doing. really want me to cry. He said nothing about Genosha. Sinister promised to help me get my life back. He didn't say it'd be a mutant massacre. <sighs> Why would we possibly believe a murdering maniac like you, Trask? Come to the US exactly, bro. Madripoor. Ooh, Madripoor! But don't go! Never out of diet. Come see the horrifying face of your future. Oh? No, don't Super don't go you. see the horrifying Trask face of your future. Created Master Mold, I. E. <laughs> literally Thank you. his fault, i.e. we can't trust him. Yeah. <laughs> really is strange. Listen to more. We head to Madripoor. Alright, that's a trap, but sure. I'm a mutant. She probably already knows. This is such a relief. It is? You knew. Why didn't you? Uh -huh. A mother knows oh. a bathroom. Oh. Okay, oh, a relief. Now the trick will be making sure we keep this all private. Wait, what now? Honey, shareholders are rattled by anything mutant related. Especially after this awful mm. lesson. Yeah. Well, okay. They can't know we have <sighs> money talks at the end of the day. Spritzers? Okay, I thought I was gonna like you, lady. Indeed. It oh. is I, sister. How do you feel now? I'll live. What happened? Oh god, I thought that was a card from Gambit. Shh. Remy's dead. But that don't mean I'm ready to accept it. You sure pulled the short straw in the adopted sister department, didn't you? Got the gal who goes bonkers over losing a boy. Over losing two. But she did not cause Gambit or Magneto to be killed. <laughs> she helped them live. <laughs> Don, good night, crawler. Oh, come on! Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Why are y'all doing this to me? What's it? Bravo. Shrimped it. Yet you knew the Ooh, purple people leader. Surprise. <gasps> Bastion! I read about him! Oh, shit! my god okay i read about bastion when i was doing my little research y'all this motherfucker is like the sentinel Building. we'll talk about this later we'll talk about it later 
Sleeping gas. What the fuck is going on here? Is this a sentinel factory? Same mystery getup as the fellows who were guarding Henry Gutterick. OZT. I don't OZT. know what OZT stands for. Zero tolerance? Operation Zero Tolerance! Ha ha ha! I read about that too! <laughs> See? the sentinels to protect normal people. While you X Men have been holding hands with Holding hands with Rick. They've been placing dominoes. Oh shit. What about Mr. Sinister? He's building a new type of sentinel. Built. Worse than what we saw in Genosha. The technology in these cases is light years ahead of ours today. I won't let him make the future any because if Bastion's here then there's gotta be tech from the future bro <laughs> that's why I'm glad I did my research <laughs> I love this new edgy rogue is she gonna drop <gasps> oh bro Not the body thuds! That maniac killed Remy and thousands of people on Genosha! That rotten piece of scum put a good man, my man! Terminate! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this is excellent! <laughs> oh! Was he a fing sentinel this whole time? Heaven? Trask has mutated into some sort of human sentinel. Prime Sentinel Protocol activated. Terminate you. Uh, what? It, so, when sleeper agents die, they turn into human mutant hybrids? Surrender, Jean always needs a, a breather whenever she uses her powers. Go ahead, Jean! I don't know how I feel about these human hybrid things. I mean, I, I am excited about Bastion, but he's... Do you remember what my inferior form asked you in the Sahara? Oh, shit. Tell me, orphan, the future. Never mind. Is that a boy? <gasps> Is that Cable? Yeah! Grenades are the quickest way to take these suckers. Uh -huh! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, how do they know who Cable is? Oh, I <gasps> no. All along. It can't be. Get out of my brain. You're not her. Nathan. Let's skip the reunion, Dad. And if you X-Men don't stop him, there won't be much of a future worth living in. Right, right, right. So the future is all fucked up. Impressed by your masterpiece tipping our hand to the X-Men? How does this help you deliver the prize you promised me? <laughs> what you would do is my roadmap for what not to do. You were one of those villains once. Hmm. Yet unlike the rest of you, I evolved. Right, okay, so he evolved out of Nimrod and Master Mold, right? to chat with their allies, the Shi'ar. Oh shit, he's on to them. Okay. So he knows where Xavier is. Where is Storm? Not the purple people either again. <gasps> Bastion, you sick bastard! Bad lately. But heat, like music, it softens things. Softens follicles. Makes the flesh. Yo! This way, once I have to get to work, uh, smooth as butter. So long as you don't resist. Simply listen and obey. See, you were born for this. What the? What is happening? What is happening right now? <laughs> That that was not that did not feel like I was watching an episode of animated television. Do, do, do you know what I mean? Like at all? Wow! I, wow! Ooh, ooh, ooh wee man! This show continues to top itself. This was a ten out of ten episode. I really loved it. Let's talk about it.
that was really damn good. That was like riveting. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I am glad that I did my research. You know, I I used to be like, I don't need to do all that. I don't need to go read comics. I mean, I'm still I'm still <laughs> probably still not gonna read the comics, but I at least um, am glad that I just sort of like read a little bit more about these storylines um, and watched some videos, like I said that I would, um, because that made watching this that much more exciting even though you know i still don't know everything i know enough that like when they found emma frost and she was like crystallized and shit like that was like so exciting you know being able to ship beast um and the reporter chick is so exciting when i read about bastion i didn't really know what to think about him you know he just seemed like okay you know comic book villain i thought his storyline was really interesting like him being sort of like a hybrid combined version of like Master Mold like absorbing Nimrod and Nimrod being from the future and so him being like this sort of like cybernetic you know human hybrid sentinel you know that like can't fucking be stopped cool badass great new challenge for the X-Men then he shows up here and he also is this like Hannibal Lecter, psycho, like gives you chills, you know, wink, wink, smile, smile, listening to the purple people leader while he's like murdering and like, I don't know what he's doing with Magneto, who's alive by the way. I, I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that Magneto survived. What I do want to know is when did, did um, Bastion get him? Where is he keeping him? And what is he keeping him for? I mean, obviously, Magneto is a very powerful mutant. So whatever Bastion has him for, it's not good. Like, at all. Um, that scene was so chilling. I loved that. And then let's talk about Rogue. Going Rogue. <laughs> um, on the hunt for who, you know, created Master Bowl and is working with Sinister and turned into the... the human sentinel hybrid at the end uh, you know her journey through her grief and anger like that was just so good so well done so well performed it was she was scary but she was also like she really made me feel for her and everything that she lost um and how she was this close she was this close to confessing to Remy to Gambit how she you know felt and this close to being like okay we can be together and to have him taken from her to have him sacrifice himself to protect her before he knew how she felt and that she chose him like that is heavy shit so of course she's feeling guilty and angry and just destroyed because like um, Nightcrawler said not only did she lose Gambit, she lost Magneto. And like, oh my god, that scene when he said that and he comforted her. Gosh, it really got me. I did not expect to cry for this episode. But of course you have to deal with the aftermath. You have to deal with the funeral. You have to deal with the grief. You have to deal with the cleanup. You know, you have to deal with the human mutant relations, the politics, the UN not wanting to prolong any more search efforts and, you know, dancing around being seen uh, to sympathize with mutants. And, you know, I, I empathize with Scott's frustration and his grief over Madeline, who, you know, was his gene before all this shit with Sinister went down. I, it, this is this, this, uh, this is really good. This is a ten out of ten again. I I really enjoyed this episode. This fucking season of television has been so good. What the fuck? Marvel is back on top of its game, and it just goes to show you, Marvel is at its best when it steps back and lets its creatives do their thing. Let their passion drive them. Let their vision drive them not meddle and mess and crack around with shit this oversaturation and this we got to get all this shit out fast 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 quick 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 that did them no favors and so as a marvel fan they lost their way they lost their way and i feel like this show is them finding their way again will that translate into the mcu i don't know i honestly don't know how i feel about the mcu right now but i do know how i feel about this 
X-Men 97. I love it. I really love it. I'm going to rewatch it when it's done. Um, I think, I don't, how many episodes do we have? We have like three more episodes left. I'm so excited to see where this is going. We didn't see Storm in this episode, but I hope she returns in the next one. It's about to be on. Gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Really, really enjoyed it. And I hope the rest of the season is just as good. Let me know in the comments what y'all thought. I'm sure you will. If you like what you see, please like the video. Consider subscribing so we can finish this series together. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.